Looks like last episode didn't go so well. But you know what they say? The second season always goes to hell. This month on D&D Minus. No sooner has Carl welcomed you to hell than he begins poking at you with his punting pole. All right, go on, get in the water. Come on, come on, into the abyss, into the abyss. Come on, in you go, in you go. I'm going to bat at it a little bit. No, don't bat at it. Don't, don't bat at it. Come on. I believe there's supposed to be some sort of boat. No, no, you're not in the boat. You're not supposed to be in the boat. I would like to tackle the stick and bunny kick it with my back feet. Make an opposed strength roll against Carl. Okay, here we go. Strength roll. This will happen a lot. I'm not very strong. Neither is Carl, though. He had a 16. I got a 16 as well. Oh, so they're they're <laughs> locked in battle. Someone help me out. The cat has the ball. The cat has the... Come on, you guys. I'd like to bite it also and do the dog thing where you don't let it go and you fight for it. I, 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 no, that's two of them. Hey, you, you, night guy. Night, come here. Give me, give me the ball back and you all get in the water. Come on, get in the water. <laughs> I'm not getting in that water. You're all supposed I just, to get in I the feel water. like you could have said please at any point. You're being here. very it's, negative it's, right uh, now. It's just, it's just instinct to grab the stick. I, I realize I'll just let it go. I would like to curse him. Oh, you want to like curse him? I, I'm, 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 I would like to curse him. All right. You're at the other end of the pole now. So like describe to me what's going to happen. I'm going to press the digitation. Okay. It's a cantrip. So it's, it doesn't actually matter that much. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so this spell is a minor magical trick that novice ca- spellcasters can use for practice. You create one of the following magical effects within range. You create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect, such as a shower of sparks or a puff of wind. You instantly light or snuff out a candle or torch or small campfire. You instantly clean or soil an object no larger than one cubic foot. Are you going to shit the boat? What are you doing? Yeah, shit the boat. <laughs> I'm going to shit Carl's pants. <laughs> All right, I'm going to I'm going to have him resist that. I think technically that's allowed, but based on the language of the cantrip, right? Are you going to roll for clench? I how do I'm, you yeah, I'm going to roll for resisting that. If he Sp- <laughs> sphincter strength roll. Yeah. Can I give her bardic inspiration? No. <laughs> you can't. Can I strum my lute and yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna roll a d20 here. To have it. That's an eight. I don't want. I don't. I don't want to get in the water. I will not be getting in the water. Carl's prairie manning it. He absolutely <laughs> shat his pants. No, you shat his pants. Oh come on, what happened then? And he lets go of the pole. He lets go of the pole with the surprise of the soiling of his of the inside of his pants or his little robe in this case. And his, the punting pole goes flipping, flipping, flipping over your head backwards, and now you're all just sort of stranded in the boat. And Carl sort of sits down and pouts for a second and goes, God, just stupid people. I can't believe this happens to me. Second time in my entire existence. Stupid people. You're supposed to get in the water and dissolve. I don't like water. Look, 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 look. Do you all know why you're here? Literally have no idea what's going on. I mean, we really didn't even remember what had happened in the previous episodes. Okay, okay. I'll explain, and then you guys will get in the water. All right, let me explain. Let me see. Let me see. And he plucks a scroll out of thin air and begins to read it. All right, let me see. Here. Okay. Achum, I assume that's the cat. Vardas, Damien, and uh, Gravy. Gravy, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it looks like you all died in the middle of an unforgivable crime, and your bodies were completely destroyed by magic afterwards. So instead of your soul-bound energy dissipating or rising to a higher plane, you were transported here... To the nine hells. It happens all the time. Uh, this river that we're on works kind of like a trash burner for souls. Trash souls like yours. So, you know, in you go. Come on, come on. Get in the water. It's nice. You'll, I you'll... don't swim. Dad's like, you shouldn't get in the water. <laughs> we're in hell right now? Yeah, you're in the nine hells. 
Is the water black? Yeah. I like belly flop into the black water. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Take me darkness. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to stay in there till your last corporeal form dissolves. And it, you just sort of, your energy will sort of dissipate back into the universe. We're not quite sure what happens after that, but, uh, you know, just like before you were born. This is like my heaven. Yeah. I'm dying, right? This is like my goal. This is like everything to me. Yeah, you're slowly dissolving. Yeah, yeah. I'm in like heaven. This is great. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wake me up inside. Am I right? All right. Yeah. So isn't that great? Why don't you guys get in with him? Huh? That seems fun. I kind of want to see how it works out for him first. Uh, okay. Uh, so we'll just sit here and watch him dissolve, I guess. You don't smell great. I didn't actually poop my pants. She pretended. It doesn't to poop matter my pants. in terms of the smell, though. It smells the same regardless. <laughs> well, that's that's talk to the cat about. I feel that. like you the just, cat's the one who used the magic. I don't know what you're talking about. Does someone have like a, a scent, based, like an aromatic cantrip or something? We should Ooh, probably no. work on that. Give me one second. And he starts to like push the boat, like he's doing like that scooting thing that dogs do, but he's doing it in place <laughs> on the boat, which sort of scoots him, scoots the boat. Towards the shore, <laughs> and the boat just sort of lands like ish in the river. Like it's still eventually gonna float down, but you've at least stopped. You're not floating away from Damien. Damien, you're about like three or four, and your fingertips and limbs are starting to feel cold. There's no like horrible pain or anything. You just feel like you're in cold water. This is not as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, it, it is non existence. It, it is truly nothing. I, I will give you a heads up about that. That kid's a team player. All right, so what's the thing? You, you guys don't want to dissolve? You want to get out here on the shore? I'll let you out on the shore. You can get out on the shore, huh? I mean, like, of those two options, that's certainly the better, but I don't really... Is there a different not being in hell type option that we could explore? Because I feel like we've insufficiently explored those. I would like to see what's out of the boat, and I'm going to hop out of the boat. I mean, if you're asking if you guys can get to the material plane where you're from... There's only one person who can travel out of the nine hells, and that's Asmodeus, the king of hell, who, I should let you know right now, not a nice guy. Kind of the worst guy, actually. I I'm afraid you're stuck in this layer until you die, or melt into the river, huh? Or, or, you know what, technically, I guess you could get a key from whoever is the head of this layer of hell to go somewhere else. A lot of people like Minoris. I hear Minoris is nice, if you guys wanted to leave this particular layer of hell. Should I be getting out of the water? Like, am I have to re-roll a character in a couple minutes? It's up to you. You're slowly dissolving. Y your entire being is dissolving. You, you get over there, buddy. Just chill for a second. <laughs> like, am I going to have to create a whole new character if I don't get out of this You water? sure are. Yeah, you're about to dissipate <laughs> into nothingness. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of rough to have a death-obsessed D&D character, right? Like, that's... In hell, yeah. yeah. Real easy on me, the DM. I don't have to make up any characters. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to give me a reason to get out. <laughs> I take out I take out a, a wig that has like a giant side bang and it's black and I put in two fake lip piercings and I get a guitar out and I say, wake me up inside. <laughs> wake me up inside. This is all, yeah. Call my name and Damien. And save me from... I'm just going to try to convince him to get over here. What's that? Passage? And I'm going to like whip out my loot and I'm going to like harmonize with the cat. Nice. And get out of the water. Don't get, you, don't get your instrument wet. Don't don't get your instrument wet. That's nice that you guys are doing that. That's a nice so how thing much, for you. How much did I just lose HP wise? <laughs> no, you're fine. You get out of the water and you're fine. You didn't lose any <laughs> HP or anything. You have to be in there for a while to dissolve totally into nothingness. Eli predicted that at least one of us would just get in the damn sure water. Sure fucking did. Yeah. Sure fucking yeah. did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to like have to die constantly in this adventure if we're in hell and I want to die. Mm. Anyways. Yeah, you're going to have to find something to live for before we're mm -hmm. done. Here. All right. Well, I'm going to go. This, I'm not going to lie, did suck. And he reaches into thin air and starts <laughs> to pull a new punting pole out of the air and sort of pulls it and pushes it into the water. Um, unless there's any other questions, I guess I'm going to abandon you guys to the devil demon war. Enjoy that, by the way. You know, I never say this. You guys kind of deserve it. So um, <laughs> I'm very sorry if we made your day unpleasant. And so I'm sorry yeah, if you're well, having you know, a bad day. Can I day. say you did? I've been down here for infinity years. So uh, can I just say unpleasant? And then he starts to push the pole away as he gets off into the water. How often can you do that cantrip, by the way? The pole thing or the shitting my pants? I was talking to Achum. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, sorry, that's on me. I'll edit that. Thought out. we were making a third, <laughs> you know, maybe a third time. I wear many hats. <laughs> so Carl like rose back to us for a second. He's like, "What?" And we're like, "Nothing." <laughs> we were actually gonna like, shit your pants. Do you guys today. have any other questions? <laughs> Are you anything? No. No. Nope. 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 That's all right. All right. Can you just tell us one more time where that? Where's that key? You were, you said something about a key. Where we go for that? Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Here in Avernus. We're in Avernus, right? Because we're the first level. Yeah. Okay. So that would be Zariel, the fallen angel. Damien, uh, if, if I know anything about you, and I, I think I do, I feel like you're really going to take her. Cool. Uh, anyway, she runs the Bronze Citadel. If you all turn around uh, over those uh, plains, you can see uh, right near the mountains, that little city there. And you do, in fact, see a city of bronze in the medium distance. So if you make it in there and you find a way in, you can ask Zariel for the key. But honestly, it seems a lot more likely that you're going to get blown apart or eaten or torn apart on the way there. So sure. maybe get in the nice cool river. Mm. Huh? Anyone want to be in the void? Mm. Who wants to go in the void? I just, I feel like if we get torn to pieces, we're not going to die more. So ah, <laughs> that is a common misconception. So yeah, you, you can still very much die and be injured here. Uh, in fact, a lot of bad people take their appearance in hell as sort of a second chance at life until they realize they're in the middle of hell and also the devil demon war. And then they promptly get into the river. <laughs> Trust me, the river is way less painful than the way most people down here die. So, yeah, no, you can very much die and be injured down here. Common, Sounds common mistake. Sounds fascinating. I just, I wonder if we're bad. Like, are, can you be bad enough to go to hell? Like hell, hell, or I just, I wonder if you're good in hell, do you get promoted when you die? It's just, there's so many theological questions that I, that I know. I just work here, man. All right. I just work here and you catch it my pants. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah. No, you don't owe us anything. Do you want to show us the way there? Oh yeah. No. So it's, it's literally just straight across the, uh, Fiery Vents of Rage, and then through the Field of Whips, and then you go over the Bridge of Rage, and then you're right in the middle of the city. It's like a straight shot. You, and you can see it, by the way. Like, he's he's not lying or anything. You can see straight through. Like, there is a... It's weird that you said he's not lying, Eli. It's weird that you would say that <laughs> now. Now that you said... I didn't, I didn't doubt that he was telling me the truth until you said that. What was he lying about before that? Of the things he's told us. <laughs> I'm going to try and persuade him to lead us there. I'm going to roll a persuasion check. Uh, yeah. 25. 25. Jesus. Fuck. <sighs> Man, I mean, look, I, I, I really want to help you guys out, but um, I'm kind of stuck in the boat. I don't like to tell people this because it kind of ruins the mystique, but if I get out of the boat, my energy dissipates and I uh, stop existing, kind of, <laughs> kind of stuck at work all the time, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but seriously, if you, if you go straight ahead, you, you, you can't miss the city, I promise. Okay, I'm looking if I have a convince him spell. Because then he'll die, right? I, what, what? Yeah, he would die. If, if you convinced him to get out of the boat and come with you, he would, uh, he is at least said he will dissipate. And then in this one, I'll have killed Carl. <laughs> okay, as Anna Bosnick and not Atum the cat, how fucking dare you? We're leaving. <laughs> I, I'll push you back into the water. Everyone needs to die. It's fine. All right, this guy. One, one other question f before we go for the for the dog guy, Carl. Right? You said you Carl. Carl. Yeah, gravy. Yeah. Are you? Are you yeah. Yeah. That's me. Kind of got a thing with names. I'm pretty good with them. Are, are you connected by like a familiar to like an idiot dragon at all? Does that? Do you just get like poofed out of where you are now and like have to do shit and then you get <laughs> me agree to be a familiar? Fat chance. It'll be a cold day in hell when I agree to do that. Okay. I feel like he was lying. So we're in the past. Yeah. Winter. Or we're in the past. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> or winter is coming. Relative to yeah. the other season's universe. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to check if there's a, how much crossover was going on. If it's just, you know, different Carl. Cool. Actually, you know what? I'll just hang out for a little while. Just, you know, in case you guys make it there. I'll hang out near the gate. And if you're not there in the next, I don't know, how long could it take you to get the key of the 2,000 years? If you're not there in 2,000 years, I really do got to get down to the next letter. But I'll hang out by the gate for a couple thousand years because I, I think you guys got the spirit, all right? All right, I'm, I'm going to get down to the other end near the gate. I'll, I'll see you guys around. This was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulls his way away down the river sticks. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill like 1,999 years, I guess. Mm -hmm. Could he have just 
giving us a ride. No, I think we're on land now. You're on land now, uh, so there's no way of knowing. Okay. So you now take a look around you, and the scorched red earth stretches out in front of you towards the bronze citadel. But it gets worse. You remember Carl saying something about vents, and the shore of the river just in front of you where you've been left off is dotted with what you can tell now are fiery vents that explode at random intervals. And though it's hard to tell over the din of battle around you, they also seem to be emitting angry screams as well. So the question is, <laughs> what do you do? Mm. They're just like, ah! Yeah. They're just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I would like to um, do a perception check. I would like to see if there's a pattern to how they, how they emit. Yeah, make an investigation check for me. I'll tell you, you got a hit of 15. Well, I have passive 16 investigations, so... No, I'm gonna need you to roll it. Motherfucker, <laughs> that's a 12. Nope, nothing. That's an 8 for day. Okay. Nope, that's an 8 for Heath. Gravy. I'm assuming that Achoom has pretty good dexterity, right? Oh, I, I, I am a cat. Boom. Nope, you already rolled. I tried to, I, I perceived again. We have this conversation every single time. <laughs> every arc. <laughs> 12 isn't going to do it. No. Mm, all right. Oh, boy. So you know nothing about these. Yeah. I have pretty high dexterity and I can cast like an advantage dexterity on people. Maybe I just like mm. buff the other two and we can just hopefully roll dexterously through. Yeah. If you want to do a dexterity roll to try and make it across these. You're picturing like dive roll scenarios like. Type, yeah. Just to get, a, you know, get out of the... Interesting. The fire <laughs> vent area. I like it. Yeah, I can essentially give somebody advantage on dexterity checks. And then I've got a plus six. And I'm assuming the Choom has a pretty high one as well. I have plus, plus two dexterity. Yeah, I'm plus two. So, I mean, we could try rolling through it. Can we just like... Just ba do a basic walk away from the vents of fire. <laughs> yes. Right, like just I go would like around. To walk Can away we just from go them. around or past? So there doesn't appear to be a around. We're on a side scroller. He left us in a side scroller. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You try to walk back through the wall and he won't let you know. He let you off at like an inlet and every way out of the inlet that isn't the water is dotted with these vents. So it seems like mm. the only way through is is through these vents. And it's just vents, right? It's like there, there's some space between them and... Yeah. They scream. So, but like we can see where they are, right? Because there's Absolutely, fire yeah. that shoots out of them periodically. So can we just like Avoid go them? slowly and not <laughs> step on the places where fire just spit out? Yeah. And just like look out for rodents of unusual yeah, size a, and we're yeah, fine. Yeah, right? it's, it's yeah. very clearly a Princess Bride thing. Perfect. Yeah, it's a dexterity roll. So I will tell you... <laughs> I don't you, know that that's dexterity. That's just... Because, like, I mean, it is dexterity in the sense that, like, <laughs> stopping and not walking is dexterous, but, like, it's not very dexterous. No, it's just, like, fire hot. <laughs> Stay away. Hot. <laughs> I didn't say it was a high dexterity roll. I'm going to need a 14 to avoid damage. That's a 19 for me. Well done, Achoon. That's a 19. Well done, Damien. That's a 26. That's a 5. So, yeah, I just, I catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're in it. Oh, no. So, Gravy, can I get a dexterity roll from you? A saving throw, not a regular one, if it matters. Yes. Solid. 15. All right, so only Vardos takes damage. Vardos, you are going to take 19 points of damage. Jeez. Ooh. Fiery vents? <laughs> yeah. So you, you managed to make your way through the fiery vents, dodging in between the explosions, except for Vardos, who stands on top of one and, and catches pretty badly on fire for a moment. But as you clear the last of the exploding vents, you find yourself in front of a field of tall, fiery red grass. At least that's how it looks at first. It's not until two combatants that in this battle that you see going on all around you come rolling into it mid-battle that you see it for what it truly is. As their bodies land, the grass all around them binds them and then proceeds to lash at them everywhere within reach. And these two giant demonic creatures struggle, even with their enormous strength, to break free from this grass and then continue their fight elsewhere. So, what do you do? So it's probably a strength saving throw. I'm pretty solid on that. I'm going to whip out my loot. And can I cast Bardic Inspiration on myself? Ooh, good question. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, I just you said this is a strength situation. I'd like to whip out my loot. <laughs> that's what happened just now. Hey, that's my strength. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can inspire others through stirring words or music. So no, you can't do it yourself. I definitely want to hear Morgan sing me some good Charlotte to improve my strength <laughs> though right now. There are no good Charlotte songs. They are not punk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to learn every lyric to every Nickelback song and troll the fuck out of your character this entire <laughs> campaign. I've got goth and metal lyrics for every single spell. Don't Wait, worry. Okay, so you're not an emo guy, but you're a punk and metal guy? Is that what you said? No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a goth, like, you know, hardcore metal guy. He's a scenester. Yeah. Name, name a band that is that? The Cure, Black Sabbath, Cradle of Filth, Disturbed. Okay, goth, <laughs> hardcore metal. So not emo? Are you sure you're not emo? Absolutely not emo. System Based of a Down. All As I Lay Dying, God Smack, Drowning Pool. Disturbed is not emo. Fucking Panic at the Disco is emo. Yeah, Panic at the Disco is emo. I do have an Evanescence song on Dashboard there. Dashboard Confessional is emo. <laughs> yeah. Slipknot corn. We're going to trick you into like secretly liking an emo band at some point. I, feel like. <laughs> I do have a My Chemical Romance lyric on here. So, I mean, it, it will. That's crop. what I'm talking about. Okay. It'll crop up occasionally. All right. There's a Coheed one, Linkin Park. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coheed is prog rock. Okay. So, I'm going to pull out my lute and I'm going to sing, Oh, baby, here comes the sound. I took a train out of New Orleans and they shot me full of ephedrine. This is how we like to do it in the murder scene. <laughs> Can we settle up the score? And I cast Enhance Ability on myself <laughs> at second level. And I'm going to do <laughs> Bull's Strength so that I have advantage on strength checks. This makes me so happy because you're supposed to be doing, it's supposed to be like hardcore metal, but you have a loot. So it's supposed to be like, <laughs> what is it now? But it's like, it's a, it's bling, a poetry bling, reading. Bling. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Twas dwelling in the slithy toes with bear <laughs> wimble in the rave. <laughs> now I'm imagining Jabberwocky, but as like Coheed and Cambria or something like that. Like, oh my that, God, that would fucking rock. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty fucking good, actually. Yeah. I'd that would that would guys rock. I think Morgan's character might be better than the whole arc I've written. I might have to tear it away. I'm gonna have to throw this whole thing away. For like an episode and a half, sure. And then everybody's gonna be like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> You'd think that. But people want a Dave the Dragonborn plushie. I'm just saying. Ooh. They're out there. Oh. Okay, so advantage on strength checks for me. Excellent. All right, so what are you going to do? You're strong. You're strong as fuck, but what are you going to do? I'll take it first. I'll try and go through the, uh, the things to see what happens. Fantastic. So you're just going to march right into them. You're not, you're not. Yep. All right, you're going straight in. Yeah. So these whips bind around you, Damien, and I'm going to need an 18 to break free. And it is strength? It is strength. Yes, please. Okay. I have a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> that advantage is going to be important. Okay. Three. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's hope for that advantage. Oh, seven. Oh, and a seven. Oh, yeah. All no. right. So you are going to take some. I love this image of Damien being like singing this song and his muscles like ripple romance. with strength. <laughs> and then he just wades into these whips that are like... <laughs> And he just comes back up. <laughs> Did not um, work particularly well. And you know when gods are like surprised by something physical? <laughs> do anything like, besides the loot, I feel like the loot didn't do well there. 15 damage, my oh, friend. Jesus. 15 points of whipping damage. <laughs> All right, but that's probably his favorite kind of damage. Though. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, kind yeah. Of like, he should get like two or three back because obviously this character is into getting whipped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the whip demons are like, oh, that's gross. I think he likes it. I, I just made this, enjoying. made this really fucking we should weird just for us. Let him go. Two devils flying above are like, that guy fucking gets it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're going to love it here, man. It rules. <laughs> other attempts, other ideas, other thoughts. I was going to do like, um, it's like I was going to like do some somersaults, you know, Ooh. Do, do a little acrobatic like floor routine and sort of backflip my <laughs> way through. I would love. Yes, do it. Okay, you're talking about like Ocean's 12, like Vincent Cassell's character doing yeah, yeah, the thing yeah, with yeah. the lasers and the, the break yeah, dancing. Yeah. yeah. Right. Awesome. Exactly. Exactly. That's, I'm assuming acrobatics. Yeah, go for an acrobatics check. Ooh, that's some solid Ooh. Baron Francois Toulour acrobatics right there. 
Yeah, I'll say you make it through undamaged. Nice. But I'll I'll say like you tank. I'm gonna give you a little wackety whack on the way. I'll say you make it through, but you're gonna get a you can get a little slippy slap. Just a, just a little pat on your butt. <laughs> just a little pat on your butt. All right. Well, when I land though, it's gonna be awesome because like there like smoke will rise from my feet, and for just a second, Damien will look down and go. <gasps> And then he'll realize it's because I'm still kind of on fire from the last thing. And he'll be like, oh, never, you know, no, never mind. Never mind. All right, you take five points of slapping damage. Now, Achoom, you wanted to investigate these whips, yes? Mm-hmm. Give me an investigation roll. I would like to investigate whether they are like a, a humanoid sort of thing, something I could charm. Ooh, I love where your head's at. Do it. That's a 16. Yes. So here's the thing. Maybe it's the fact that you have such keen eyes. Maybe it's the fact that you see them reacting to Vardas's amazing acrobatics. But these whips sort of are sentient. Like you can tell they are looking, maybe not with eyes that you can see, but they are looking. They are definitely sentient beings unto themselves. Excellent. Am I like through? No, you, they threw you back. Okay, so I have to go again. Yeah, or not. <laughs> I mean, you could try again if you'd like. Would you say they are a beast? Yeah, I would call these a beast. I would like to sidle up and speak in the language of beasts. I would say, hello there. Hey, what's <laughs> the deal? God, that is a perfect whip voice. Well done, dude. <laughs> Thank you. There's really no way that you could have known you were going to be called upon to impersonate a whip today <laughs> and that you did that that quick. I'm impressed. That's I good stuff. I feel like Eli's former job experience came into play just now. So Thank <laughs> you. Oh, what's that? A pigeon flies down and you has a magic sword? <laughs> and he does a little tap tap. <laughs> It's super good. I'd like you to, I think you should have to roll for tap dance. <laughs> super good. You can't make me roll. I think you should have to roll for us it's right the now. First, no, that's the first rule of Fight Club. You can't make the TM roll. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me roll for tap dance. That's why I became a podcast. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I, I was I was wondering if you ever get freaky with those with those whips of yours. I don't know. Seems like we've already gotten a little freaky with you, lot. Okay. Do Do you ever try doing like a side part or a zigzag or a just straight through the middle? All right, give me a give me a persuasion roll there, okay. Chum. I see. Okay. I, I'm I'm smelling what you're, you're stepping smelling in. What give I'm me, stepping in. Okay. Yeah, give me that roll. I That's dare you guys to do wacky waving inflatable alarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with a thirteen. How does that go? Well, see, you take like, say, over here, and that would go that way, and then you just like kind of sloop, slice it through the middle, yeah, super like suave like, this. and just pop it over. Yes, yeah, and like they're that. they're parting as you describe it, like they're parting side Ooh. to side and sort of following your direction. Now, see, that looks stellar on you. I just does love it? that. Oh, yes, very it's good. not too subby. Oh man! Okay, <laughs> it's 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 super okay. good. While while this is all happening, I'd like to. They're so distracted, and I just get through. <laughs> yes, that's fine. You do, but he, I would like to point out, podcast listener, because I'm keeping into the podcast. Keith, the man, was just like, "Hey, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Please stop this." <laughs> That's what happened. Hey guys, let's yeah, do some D and D shit. Whatever. I'm rolling some dice. I'll fight a dragon and a bear. You got a, a weasel dragon. I'll fuck it up. Yeah. I'd like to roll to interrupt your very, very <laughs> sexual encounter that you, husband and wife, are having in real life. That a trim the cat is having with the I with know the, the fucking cat field of, with some grass. You know how much yeah. cats love to eat grass. Field of whips. But yeah, the rest of you can skip by while a trim is talking. Okay. Okay. All right, so I just, I like ran through. Oh my God, your little golden retriever paws do a little doink, 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 doink. You don't yeah. even <laughs> have to roll for it. Like that's how distracted they are while they sort of talk, Tom sub talk with a chew. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm bad at religion. I'm going to do it religionly and see how badly Ooh, that goes. Okay, well actually, did, I did it very religiously and it worked, so. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's a light from heaven and it's like, good job, gravy. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry you're in hell. That was gross, what they were doing, right? That was like gross. It's me, Muhammad. Hey. 
cool. Oh, wow. So I'm, I'm uh, does that mean I'm Muslim now? Or what? what do you think about me, man? Uh, I, think, <laughs> what? I think there's a lot of. Whoa. This. Okay. And, and cut. <laughs> Good. I edit the podcast. I decide whether or not gravy talks oh, to Muhammad. Shit. Damn it. Oh, shit. I've gone oh. mad with power. I'm sorry. This is. <laughs> So, agree. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you've made it through. Damien, you can just walk through as well as can you. Oh, no. Vardos already made it through. I already and made it. I did the fucking hard way. Everybody else. <laughs> yeah. So you did it the hard way. You got some the just distracted, try to fuck the DM. And that nigga all of a sudden he doesn't even notice. I had to do backflips and shit. Try some dirty talk the next time you get to some shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe, right. Do, maybe do dirty backflips next time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cool flips. <laughs> now that I've like witnessed it, I'm going to use my actor feet to like do that dirty talk a lot. Nice. Got it. Excellent. All right. So you all clear the field of whips. Achum, it waves a flirty goodbye. You like the, the tips of the grass do like a wiggly fingers thing as you go away. I give it a finger gun and a little, little wink on the way out. And it does like a fake faint thing. Like, a, ooh, it does like a swoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a nightmare. Hey, everybody. Just hopping in to thank you once again for listening to the show. We had a ton of fun making it for you, and we are so grateful that you are all listening. Your next episode will be the Friday after next for those of you who are confused by this and next terminology, like certain members of our cast, that'd be Friday, October 20th. But our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash DND minus get the episode a day early and without this little part in the middle. So there's never been a better time to sign up. Patreon.com forward slash DND minus. Or if you can't give us money, why not give us one of those five star reviews I've heard so much about? Helps new people find out about the show. And now that we're just starting our second season, there's never been a better time to tell people about the show, right? It sounds good. Thanks to Morgan. It is good. Thanks to the players. And so there's never been a better time to share the show. Tell people about the show. Let's get it going. I'll let you get back to the show. Thanks so much for listening. Bye. You make it through the field and you find yourself just a few hundred feet from the gates of the Golden Citadel. Except there's a problem. As you get closer, you realize that the Bronze City is domed in fire and surrounded by a moat of lava with only a small bridge passing over it. There do seem to be crowds of devils going across it, but you also notice that occasionally one seems to fall through the bridge and into the lava below for reasons you can't seem to understand. <laughs> Feels like there's going to be a very slow-moving fire stick when we get close. <laughs> yeah. Around. We have to do some Mario shit. I'm looking forward to it. All right. <laughs> so as you get closer, you see the bridge has a bored-looking devil ushering through, and he's bellowing loudly at regular intervals. Keep it moving, people. Keep it moving. Please leave all emotional baggage at the gate. Again, if you cannot personally control an emotion, you must leave it here. And then as you guys actually get up to him, he says, oh, wow, smooth heads. You guys might want to stay out there. This is not, not the best situation for smooth heads. What are smooth heads? I have fur on my head. I wear many hats, in fact. Oh, you must be new. Usually someone gets some kind of uh, introductory conversation, but that's fine if you guys didn't get it. Yes, yeah, so um, we are devils. Devils are creatures like me that we're born, created, summoned, or otherwise belong on this plane. You can tell because we have horns like these. Uh, we don't have horns, so we're smooth heads. Is it? Yeah, exactly. Don't I have horns? I'm a tiefling. You do. Yeah, that's why he, he yeah. points to you and he says, you, your family made a deal with a devil, which is why you look the way you do. You're not a devil, but you do look that way. Demons, uh, these guys you see flying all around us, the ones that we're fighting, those ones come from the abyss. They're mostly giant monsters with very little intelligence, though there are exceptions to that. Anyways, yeah, that's the basics. We call you smooth heads, and I'd stay off of this because it uh, doesn't usually go super well for smooth heads. This is the Bridge of Rage. It's the only way in and out of the Bronze Citadel. 
and also the only demon-proof way because uh, the bridge detects anger. So even the slightest flutter of anger and you pass right through it like it wasn't even there. We're still, as you can see, there are hackle demons outside the bridge that are constantly antagonizing people as they walk through. Ang angering us, right. Right. Yeah, so trust me, I've seen plenty of smooth heads go out this way. <laughs> you are not going to like it. So uh, I would uh, recommend just heading back. Did anyone recommend you dissolve into the river? That's what a lot of yeah, people are doing. Yeah, there was a these dog things. that said to okay. just do that All right. at the beginning well, uh, of our thing. I'm certainly not going to stop you if you want to try to get across the bridge. I'm just letting you know you're going to need to control your emotions on the way. Guys, I'm still kind of pissed about the uh, vents, the fire vents earlier. I don't know this is going to be my... Like, like, no illusions just fell through this fucking bridge. I'm just, what I was saying is, oh, no! <laughs> can we do some mindful breathing for like 15 minutes? Can we roll for how good that goes? Ooh, yeah. Give me a... I think if you're going to do like a get cooled down thing, let's make that a intelligence check. Mm. 10 or more, and I'll give you an advantage when you're actually on the bridge. Okay. <laughs> Varda, Varda's really is pissed off about these fucking... No one told me. <laughs> he's just slightly smoking, and he's like, yep, no, I'm calm. I'm totally calm. <laughs> 11. 11. All right. There's some advantage for Damien. Okay. That's a four for a chum. It's all matching with the correct characters now. Okay. Boom. 15. 15. All right. So. The guy with the minus one yeah. gets the 15. Also, I'm like a gold retriever, so I have not an angry molecule in my body. I'm just like the happiest <laughs> yeah. possible being. These heckle demons, are they like up on a. Like, are we going into a castle and they're like up on a, like a parapet? Is that correct? Above? No, there's sort of a long Indiana Jones bridge made of this fiery red magical substance. And they're not right there where you can see them, but about 50 feet as you get across the bridge, there are like, you'd say two to three demons hanging out, very clearly shouting things that you can't hear right now at the people who are trying to cross the bridge. Okay. So that like, if I were to cross the bridge successfully, I could like mess with them so that the other others could pass better. Ooh, maybe. I mean, you would have to make it onto the bridge, but yeah, once you get there and if they attempt to mess with you, why don't we deal with that once you get to the demons? <laughs> um, but I, I like where your head's at. I, the answer's not no. Okay. If Damien's character just keeps almost dying by like almost yeah, suicide. By like going Jumping first. on grenades. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me slap the top of this bridge. Let's get you into this bridge first, and yeah. then we'll talk <laughs> about what you do with the heckle demons. I'll go first, and then I'll try and like befuddle them, befuddle the the other guys. It is going to be a fifteen wisdom saving throw to avoid just passing right through. Now, I will say this is when you first step on, so you will not take damage. You just won't be able to step onto the bridge if you can't roll this first fifteen. Okay, so is it wisdom saving throws all the way across the bridge? It, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you that. It, That's I... my job as the, as the caster of, as, as a weaver of tales. All right, because I could buff everybody, but I won't if it's not wisdom. Okay, so you're saying Damien can't even step onto the first step of the bridge. None of he, you can. Unless, okay, unless we hit the wisdom saving throw. But I have advantage, right, because of the previous pass? You do, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, six or nine, sorry. Uh, no. Yeah, so you cannot get onto it. What did you have to get? A 10? Ah, oh, 14. Yeah, there we go. I thought it was 15. Shut up. You forgot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to curse all of you. I'm That's going to curse all of you. All right, How dare you? not making I it on. Curse this fucking, fucking bridge. <laughs> not 20. Nice. Not 20. Oh. Nice. Vardos. All right, you aggressively step onto the bridge. <laughs> you flash back to your training, right? You're so mad. You're that seething calm of like so mad that you're talking through your teeth. So you know how like you can fool a lie detector test by just clenching your ass all day? <laughs> <laughs> by being so full of shit in your honest answers that it can't tell. I'm doing that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> or just doing anything else because those aren't reliable yeah, at all. Yeah, because that's, really, that's not a real thing <laughs> at all. Yeah. So Vardos steps onto the bridge. Gravy, let's see how you do, buddy. All right. A uh, question. Yeah. Can I do to alter this scenario can I do a kind of like a, uh, you know, Mario, like one, two, three jump, like woo, 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 woo thing. <laughs> and I like, I get fast across and like, I don't even, I like, you know, get past the first check. Cause I'm not even like stepping. I'm, I'm already way past that. 
So I know this is unrelated, and I'm sorry to bring everything to a grinding halt, but did anyone, like, was anyone aware that was an Olympic sport before they knew it as the Mario Jump? Wait, right? No. It's really weird to see it <gasps> afterwards. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hop, skip, jump, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it's, it's, Carl Lewis being big into it. Like, my, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, sorry. Just like, wait, once you know it as the Mario Jump, watching Olympians actually do it, it's just like, <laughs> come on, guys, this that's fucking silly. <laughs> I think it's weird that they have to punch a block at the top right, and that a yeah, star exactly, comes exactly. out and they never die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's weird. Except for Greg Luganus. <laughs> but can I do like, can I do an athletics-y thing like that and uh, roll for that first? Let's have you try, would you try to step on the bridge first or would you just immediately go hopping on heads? The plan is to like not have to step on the first step of the bridge. I'm doing like a, I'm going in right before that with my first leap from before the bridge. You wouldn't even try to touch the bridge first. I'd prefer to not do that in my okay. scenario. All right. So then, yeah, I will give you an athletics check here. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. You are not going to be barely touching the bridge because that wouldn't make any sense. It's a magic bridge. Okay. I critically That's failed. That's a fucking eight. I critically failed. <laughs> I rolled a one. I have a plus seven. That's why I was trying to do this athletics thing. And I thought it was going to be a great idea. And I literally did as badly as possible. Gravy is like, watch this. And then just fucking... <laughs> 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 so I'm just like, uh, uh. Yeah. so yeah. Achum gently passes a hand through the bridge. Damien gently passes a hand through the bridge. Uh, Gravy steps on his own testicles somehow, and Vardos <laughs> is standing on the bridge. How are you going to get across? I thought I got through, didn't I? Mm. Did you get through? 14? No, you didn't. You No, I was wrong. I, I thought it was uh, 14, but it's 15. Incorrect. Should be 14. <laughs> hey, Vardos, could I? Have you ever had a shoulder cat before? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, so that we can like, I'm going to invite Achum up onto my shoulder. Great. Achum's up on the shoulders. I wear many hats, but also I could be a hat. So. Yeah, right, right. Roll the strength check for me, Vardos. I want to see if you can carry Achum. <laughs> I am the, a cat There's a possibility that this is very fun. Yeah, you're a cat. So this is going to be real easy. <laughs> Yeah, you absolutely you carry with a four. You can carry him. You can carry him <laughs> because that because I rolled a two and then I have yeah. a plus two. Us so, oh, don't okay. tell him that. If it was a one, Achum was going to have had a little too much Purina, and you were going to just be like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Achum, you're safe on Vardos's back. Amazing, Damien, Gravy, what's happening? Okay, so I'm right now like curled up, injured. I stepped on my own dick or something, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm like. Yep. My fucking dick, and I'm vomiting. My but knee, I'm not... <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I'm on the still the beginning of the bridge. I like hurt myself before I even took the. Yeah, first you didn't jump. make it to the bridge. I begged you. I was like, "You sure you don't want to try the bridge?" And you uh, were like, "Can no. I go ahead and try the bridge thing?" <laughs> yes, you can. Wisdom saving throw. Okay, I'll roll. I'll roll at the same time, but I get advantage still, right? Okay, that didn't go well. Oh no. No. Nope. Yeah. So your foot passes through the bridge. You've already tried, Damien. That's your one roll. So it doesn't. Uh, you don't. You don't retry. Oh, okay. So you're you're gonna have to figure out another way to get on this bridge. <laughs> have you ever seen a dog try to get onto a boat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like that. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Skitter, skitter, skitter. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to get by the heckling demons by complimenting their ints, their heckling so much that they're actually just kind of not really, like they're, they're actually like going easy on me. All right. So are you going in now? I, I, th I think, aren't I? Oh, were you not already in? I thought we were on the first step. Well, no, but Damien and Gravy are still not oh, on the oh, bridge. Oh, so. no, no, I would, okay. I'll, I'll watch them step on their dicks for a little bit longer before I go. That's fine. <laughs> Absolutely. That's fine. I'm going to try and <laughs> step on my own dick. I hear Mario jumps work, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is the guy who talked to us, is he pretty close? Yeah, he's right there. Okay. He's been watching this whole time. Okay. I'm going to try. It looks like you're really hurt when you step on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. I know it's hell and you deserve to be here, but that really sucked, man. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to walk up to him and I'm going to be like, listen, I'm half tiefling. Uh, I would prefer if you would just throw me into the middle of the bridge and I'm going to try and persuade him to do that. All right. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, 15. Yeah. You know what? For all I know, maybe I'm the one who made the deal with your family. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to throw you towards the center of the bridge. At that point, your human, and I cannot emphasize this enough, very mortal frame, will contact the magical bridge. At which point, something that you may have already tried will happen again. 
And if you fail, you will fall through into hot lava. Are you ready? And he tosses you into the center oh of the God. bridge. <laughs> Make a wisdom saving throw for me. Here's oh. what I'm going to say. Damien, I'm going to say the touch of a demon, of your ancient ancestral demon, has made this slightly easier. So go ahead and make that wisdom saving throw for me. And do I still have advantage on it? Uh, yes, you still have advantage because you're a Zen. 13. That'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Roll that second one. one. Yeah, let's, let's just find out. One. Oh, 15. Fucking 15. Shit. <laughs> perfect. Yes. You, there's something about being in the arms of a, fel of a fellow horned creature Back home. that you yep. just relax in a way that you haven't relaxed in such a long time and you <laughs> land perfectly in the center of the bridge. Gravy, you're the only one not on the bridge. What are you going to do? <laughs> All right. Can I, uh, can I do a perception check? Yeah, it's a bridge. You did it. Oh, no. Okay, that didn't help much. No, it's just a bridge. It's a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you know everything you need to know about this bridge. All right. Did I already try to do the thing to step on it? Yep. So I can't try that again? Can't try that again. Unless you do something that changes the situation. Can I dispel magic the bridge so that he can just step on it? Can I charm gravy? <laughs> Would that help? Well, wait. First things first, Achoom, before you try to charm gravy, Damien, make an intelligence saving throw for me. Not a good one. 20. Oh, it's a 20. Whoa. So with a 20, you realize that if you dispel the magic of a magical bridge that you're you standing on, you would just on, fall through into the it fucking will disappear lava. and you would fall into lava. <laughs> you would, and some of us are also on it with you. <laughs> so you, uh, you roll really well and don't do that. Achoom, <laughs> read the spell description for charm for me. All right. You attempt to charm a humanoid. You can see within range. It must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage. If you or your companions are fighting it, if it fails, the saving throw... It is charmed by you until the spell ends and until your companions are do anything harmful to it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. Mm -hmm. When the spell ends, the creature knows it has been charmed. You're going to charm him into like chilling out? I don't think that's something it, it can actually do, though, based off of that. No, I, I, I like that idea that you're going to cast charm in him. First things first. Gravy, are you letting a tomb charm you? Because I know this is a spell that you can either resist or not resist. Yeah, definitely. Just go ahead and charm me. <laughs> All right. So you're allowing yourself to be charmed. All right, a tomb. Tell, hit me with some of that charm. Hit me with some of that charm for gravy. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Don't don't do that. Just do this. Oh, but you know who is your good boy? I feel like I'm getting you, angrier. Hey, just hey, just hey, <laughs> hey, gravy. Gravy. Yeah, what? Do you know who the good boy is? Don't do that. Please just, can you just do the spell so I Who's, can oh, try? <gasps> I, I take off my hat and I'm like, who? <gasps> oh, I yeah, take yeah, out a ball and say, oh, I where's the hat? Oh, where's the ball? Where's the ball? I'm the ball. Look at me. Look at me. It's you. It's you. It's you. You're the you're a good boy. You're a good boy. All right, Gravy. I'm going to say because you are charmed, this is now a lot easier. You're just enraptured with this incredibly friendly. You know, you didn't like a tune before, but you feel really close to this cat and anything that he's getting you to do is going to be great. So I'm going to give you another chance at this and I'm going to say it's much, much easier for you to get on this bridge. So give me a roll. I literally won. I rolled That is a one. <laughs> oh no. Bap, once again onto the hard earth. Uh, <clears throat> this is going so badly. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Okay. <laughs> Relax. I'm relaxing, and I'm re I'm doing I'm doing my mantra, my mantra, which is it's just chilling, chilling out. You're a good boy. Gotta try something else. I need a reason Who's why a this world boy? changes. Well, if we can get across and mess with the things, does that allow him to just cross without rolling? Yeah. If you if you guys want to leave gravy behind and try and figure it out on the other side of this bridge, I'll let you. Oh, no. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, Achim. Mm. I'm thinking you and I both pretty fucking charming. If we go through here and we both try to charm the heckle demons as they're uh, heckling us, they're they're going to, like, heckle us very poorly, right? Mm. Or I could do Nasser's mischief. I like the sound of it already. And I could charm everybody. All right, so the three of you make it to the center of the bridge where the, the, the demons are hurling... Pretty normal insults at most of the devils. They're kind of half-assing it, right? Hey, fatty, what's going on, ugly? But then they see you 
humans coming across. And you see they really, uh, they really rub their hands here. All right, so here's what I'm going to say. All right, we're going to do a little mini game here. I am going to roll, and the demons are going to focus their attention on one of you. Bardos, you will be a one. Achum, you will be a two. Damien, you will be a three. If I roll a four, which was going to be gravy, I will roll again because gravy is just sitting at the other end of the bridge, dry heaving because <laughs> he stepped on his dick again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to roll that dice. And then whoever I roll will have to deal with a special challenge. Before you do that. Okay. Unless it's Achum, in which case Achum is on my shoulder. So. Mm hmm. So if you're affected, it affects me too. <laughs> well, right, yeah. <laughs> Before you do that, are they all within a 30-foot cube? Absolutely, yes. Okay. How about a, how about a 20-foot cube? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, then it, they're within a 20-foot cube. I can catch mm. all of them with a charm spell at once. I was going to do something like that too. Yeah, are you going to do hypnotic pattern? No, I was going to do Nathair's Mischief, which also involves a random thing with a D4. Just for the record, I'm dry heaving so loud while this is all happening. <laughs> so my save is a Wisdom 15. Do you know what your save is? Like what you, they would have to save against? They would have to do a either a Wisdom, a Dexterity, a, what other Wisdom, or... Um, Depending on your role. Or it would become difficult terrain. <laughs> you know what? Probably you should do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know what difficult terrain for a heckling is. It's like, wow, that guy is hot. He seems to be doing great. <laughs> this mischievous surge table that happens with a chum spell. I look, I'm not saying I'm not telling you how to live your lives. I'm just saying at some point I want to see the results of Nathair's mischief. Oh, this is gonna happen. Yeah, I want to see this happen. happen. Later. All right. So uh Damien, you're gonna do something? Yeah, I'm going to whip out my lute and I'm going to sing, mm -hmm. stay with me and fall asleep. Pray to God for no bad dreams. I'm still waiting here, my dear, for one kiss from you. And I cast Hypnotic Pattern oh. at third level. Sure. Do you have like a falsetto vibrato sort of thing going on with that? <laughs> with the lute? I mean, it seems lower, not falsetto. Stay with me. <laughs> Read that uh, spell description for me. All right. You create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. The pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw, DC 15. On a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for a duration. While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. All right. So I'm going to roll for all the demons at once. Uh, they need a 15. Mm -hmm. That's a... W Oh, no, that's a 17. I thought no. it was... Oh, All right, God. Yeah. A nice song, buddy. <laughs> All right. So I rolled a three, which means, Damien, they're going to focus on you. Sure, because I just sang really well. Yeah, yeah you right, just sang. Right. <laughs> probably going to make fun of your singing voice. <laughs> Damien, the demons all make hard eye contact with you, and they're like, hey, 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 goth boy. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, that's, four, one, two, three, four. Is anybody going to tell him that that's what two, you're supposed to do? Yeah, <laughs> you're trying four, to make me bit mad, but you're one, just One, two, <laughs> three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, make a wisdom saving throw for me with I advantage. I would do a charisma saving throw. I think I would no, this is wisdom with charisma. No, I think it would be wisdom. It, if charisma was the source of patience, it, then it would be a <laughs> different world we live in. But no, this is a wisdom saving throw. 16. Yep, you make it. Uh, you are unbothered because they clapped on the wrong beats because they don't know what the right ones are. <laughs> All right. So the three of you make it across. You're to the other side of the bridge. Gravy is off about 100 feet in the distance on the other side. All right. I'm going to do a perception check and see if like, we can see anything that would give Gravy an advantage from our end. Don't you guys have rope or something we could just like throw at him? up and... <laughs> you do have Let rope. Let him swing over the chasm. I mean, it's... It's lava. It's it's lava. Oh, okay. Never mind. We can't just drag him across the lava. No. Hmm. Could we blind and deafen him so that he could just and then like lead him across? You think that would make him chiller? I don't think that. <laughs> well, if he was deaf, I mean, we could. Like, 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 like they have to let Wait, you. Wait, Morgan, have you ever put a blanket over a dog? <laughs> it does not make them chill. 
Oh my God, wait. Why didn't one of us throw a ball for him? <laughs> he would step on his dick on the way to get it. <laughs> that's true. Very likely. That's true. That's, that's correct. Can I try a different uh, video game instinct thing that I have going right now? Sure. Can I just try to like walk across, not on the bridge? Across the lava? Yes. Cool. Make an intelligence saving throw for You're going to die. <laughs> It, is that oh, no. INT in my saving throws area? Yeah, just make an intelligence saving throw for me. Okay. Oh, this is a 15. Nice. A lava hot. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> lava hot. Burn you. You die. I got an 18 perception for the same thing that Vardross was doing. Do either of you guys have like a water spell? Because I have an authority from a very good Zelda game mm. that you can spray water on lava <laughs> and turn it into rock very quickly. Oh, I have it on authority from Stardew Valley as well. Yeah. <laughs> I may have a water flask. <laughs> <laughs> a single pebble bubbles up on your side of the bridge. You guys can't like make it. Nobody can make it rain or anything. Mm, that kind of stuff. I can make it rain in many other senses, actually. <laughs> I wear a lot of hats after all, but uh, I wear a lot of hats. Do you guys want to just like go do your thing? I'll hang out. And then... <laughs> this is good. This years. is a weird way to end. Heath's participation in the podcast. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you find the like, whatever the key or whatever the fuck, just come back out. Uh, he's, standing, yeah. he's standing on the porch, all sad hey, as we leave. I have a torch. <laughs> I have a torch, which isn't lit right now. So basically, it's a stick. Oh gravy! Don't do that. Oh gravy! Don't. He's just gonna stick. have to roll again. I have a stick, gravy. I, mean, I have a stick. I know. I'm trying to get him to roll again so he could. I jump after the stick. Okay, get the get the stick. Get the stick, gravy. Get the stick. No, let me think of something with the 18 that you might see to help yes. you. Because that's just trying Please. again. There'd be no reason why you would try it again immediately. You know what, Damien? Those two demons that flew overhead earlier that were like, this guy gets it. He's going to like it here. Mm -hmm. They're like chatting by the edge of the bridge. And they give you like a nice friendly little wave as you come by. Okay. I go over... Hey, it's Whip Guy. Yeah. This guy. Oh, God, I love whips, right? You too, maybe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen. Giving them. <laughs> big fans. <laughs> I'll let you give me two whips if you'll go back and fly my friend across. Oh, two, two whips each? I'm going to do a persuasion and say, nope, just the two, just two whips, not two whips each. Can you not haggle and just make the steal happen? <laughs> 12. What I love is that he would just be able to do the same persuasion check, whether or not he said you'll get to do two whips. <laughs> so, all right. So wait, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to go like, all right, two whips for him and then two for the dog too. Mm. Oh, all right. Thank you for offering that because I was convinced, but now two for the dog. All right. <laughs> all right so two so for I, I rolled even better. So I rolled a yeah, 16. Yeah, we will whip the dog. Persuasive. All right. Yeah, I we'll disagree go. with what's happening right now for the record. It's weird. Your consent wasn't actually involved in this transaction. And they grab you. I'm going to stay here and vomit while you guys do your quest. <laughs> Gravy's just being dragged by his arms over the bridge, but like his, his feet are passing through, but it doesn't matter because the two devils are flying him. Gently, and they land them down, and then they do. Wait, before they do, oh, I'm going to do another. I'm going to be like, okay, so while you're doing this, right, mm -hmm. can you, like, hold my hand and, like, call me mommy as you do it? Sure. Yikes. Dang it. I thought that was going to fuck him up. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Let me let me teach you a lesson early and We're often. In hell. You're yeah, in yeah, hell. Yeah. Everyone's in. <laughs> Everyone's all the way in. <laughs> all nine layers down. The answer is yes. And anyways, <laughs> you're going to take seven points of damage. And gravy, if you lay there on the ground, they give you also seven points of damage. This was great, guys. All right, I caused that, so I'm going to do my laying hands on out of my pool and give him back his seven. Nice. All right, there we go. Can I do cure wounds on myself? Yes, touch spells can be cast on yourself, yes. Okay. I'm going to do a cure wounds at second level on myself. All right, so all healed up. You take the final steps through the gate and into the bronze citadel.
The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.